Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm an asthma specialist nurse. I'm going to show you how to use a breeze inhaler. This is a dry powder device, or DPI. Getting your inhaler technique right is very important because it helps you manage symptoms better. It may take a few tries to feel comfortable using your inhaler, but it does get easier with practice. To use your inhaler, first take the cap off. Check there's nothing inside the mouthpiece. Open the inhaler by pushing the mouthpiece back. Next, take a capsule from the blister pack. Only use a capsule if it's been sealed inside the foil blister pack. Put the capsule inside the inhaler. It's important to put the capsule into the inner chamber and not into the mouthpiece. Close the inhaler until you hear a click. Press and release the two buttons at the side of the inhaler to make a hole in the capsule. Your dose is now ready. Hold the inhaler horizontally, but don't tip it upside down as the powder may fall out. Sit or stand up straight and slightly tilt your chin up as it helps the medicine to reach your lungs. The next steps all happen smoothly in one action. Breathe out gently and slowly away from the inhaler until your lungs feel empty and you feel ready to breathe in. Put your lips around the mouthpiece to make a tight seal. Then breathe in quickly and deeply until your lungs feel full. You should be able to hear a vibrating noise. Take the inhaler out of your mouth and hold your breath for up to 10 seconds or for as long as you comfortably can. Then breathe out gently away from the inhaler. If you can't hear the vibrating noise when you breathe in, the capsule may be stuck in the inner capsule chamber. Open the inhaler by pushing the mouthpiece back and loosen the capsule by gently tapping the base of the inhaler. Close the mouthpiece and follow the steps again, starting by breathing out slowly and gently. When you've finished, open the inhaler and check that the capsule is empty. If it is, tip it out into the bin. Close the inhaler and replace the cap. If the capsule isn't empty, repeat the steps. If you've used an inhaler that contains steroids, rinse your mouth with water and spit it out to reduce the chance of side effects. For more tips on using your inhaler, why not watch our other videos?